In this video we're going to look at a production possibility frontier. It shows the combination of products which could be produced in an economy if it used all of its resources efficiently. In this example, if the economy only produced product A, they could produce 70 of that product. If they put all of their resources into producing product B, they could produce 50 of that product. In reality, they would like to operate somewhere on this curve and produce a mixture of those products. So that consumers can, can consume both products, the economy might produce at a point X where they're producing 60 of product A and 35 of product B. We can use this diagram to explore a number of different economic concepts. The first one is to say if the economy was producing at point Y, it is operating inside its production possibility frontier. This means that all of the resources of the economy are not being used efficiently. This could mean that there is unemployment in the economy or resources which aren't being used. And we tend to think of unemployment in terms of human resources. So if there are human workers who aren't working, the economy cannot produce its maximum output, it cannot produce on the production possibility frontier and will operate instead inside the production possibility frontier. If the economy was able to use those resources, then point Y could move out and end up on the production possibility frontier. It is impossible for the economy at this point in time to operate at point Z. To move to a point outside the production possibility frontier, there would need to be one of two things. The first could be an increase in the number of resources in the economy, which could be uh, finding new natural resources. It could be more, a higher population, which gives more human resources, and that would allow the production possibility frontier to shift outwards. Uh, another way could be if there was an improvement in technology. If there is improvement in technology, the resources that are in the economy can be used more efficiently, and this would mean that more products can be produced with the same amount of resources. So an increase in the amount of resources or an increase in technology can lead to a shifting out of the production possibility frontier. And this uh, can produce economic growth in an economy. If we have a production possibility frontier that looks like this with a shift outwards, it means that there's been an increase in technology or more resources which can only be used in the production of product B. So the maximum amount of product A remains at this point here and we can't get any higher but the maximum amount of product B will move from this point and move outwards to this point here. This diagram can also be used to explain other concepts which we will look at in other videos. Uh, some examples of those are opportunity cost and we could also look at this, uh, this diagram to explain the gains of of trade if we have free trade between two countries.